I can't see anything. <laughs> Remy? Alex, you're here. It works. You shouldn't have done that, Remy. But you're home. You switched with Lux just like Rem and I switched when we touched. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened. I'm sorry we had to do that, but... Nobody asked you to. You said you trusted me. Alex, aren't you happy to see me? It's pitch black, Remy. I can't see anything. I just meant... Let's just find our way out. You walk first. Well, I have my hoverboard, but I think I'd feel better if you went first. Quarantiners, today is Tuesday, October 6th, and welcome to Creep City, huh? I'm happy to report that Alex and I made it out of the tunnel, but I can't say that was a relaxing trip. I honestly don't know what's going on with him, but I'm here in my room, alone. Before I get to shoutouts and to what's going on with my brother, I do want to report some exciting news. I got something very cool delivered today. If you're like me, you're not just a Six Minutes fan, but you're also a fan of the unexplainable disappearance of Mars Patel, which was the first podcast from the producers of Six Minutes. Well, now Mars Patel is going to be a series of books, and I just got the first one, called The Unexplainable Disappearance of Mars Patel by Sheila Chari. It has an awesome cover, and I've already started reading it. If you loved Mars and Caddy and Toothpick and JP like I did, you're going to love the novel. You can buy it on Amazon or wherever you get books. But I think it would be extra cool if you bought it from a local bookstore. They've had a hard time during the pandemic, and I'm sure they could use the business. Anyway, enjoy! Now, on to shoutouts. Happy belated birthday to Santiago! Happy birthday to Danny in Arlington, Virginia. Happy 9th to Violet in Alhambra, Illinois for mom, dad, Frank, Lucy, and their very cute new puppies, Benny and Jesse. Happy 9th to Kyler in Bennington, Nebraska from your mom who loves you and your incredible heart so much. Aw. Happy birthday to Lara in Australia from your sister, Skye. Happy birthday to Lucia from your siblings, Brenton and Miranda. Happy birthday to twin brothers, Hank and Andy in Mississippi, and shout out to their big brother, Carter. Happy 12th to Lonnie in Minnesota. Happy 15th to Vanchi from Docks. Happy 13th to Sabrina from Jackson and Christina with a K, and shout out to Connor in Oklahoma from your sister, Leslie. Okay, quarantiners. I'm here in the kitchen with mom and dad. Say hi, mom and dad. Hi, hi mom, mom and dad. dad. Jinx, Jinx, double Jinx. Jinx. Seriously, how old are you two? Old enough to know that's funny. Uh-huh. We're also joined by a special guest on the walkie talkie. Xander, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Remy. Hey, everyone. Hey, Alex. Hey, kiddo. Alex. Thanks for putting my phone in my room, Mom. Wasn't me. I left it on the stairs. Well, someone put it next to my bed. Um, why is everyone looking at me like that? No reason. We just want to talk. Talk. You know, catch up! See what's new! Yep, that's what she said. I think I'll just go back upstairs. If they think you're acting weird and they want to know why. Sander? Look, we just want to ask you some questions. Questions? If you don't mind. Sure, whatever, go ahead. Okay, I'll start. How did I break my leg when I was seven? On your bike, what is this? What's the secret ingredient in my ZD? Sausage. Why did you decide not to play baseball when you were eight? The cut grass made me sneeze. Is this some sort of test? 
They want to see if you're brainwashed, dude. Or a robot. <laughs> you think I've been brainwashed? Or replaced by a robot. Okay, I can see why you thought I was acting weird. But I had to make Dr. Augustine believe I wanted to stay so I could investigate. Investigate what? He wanted me to help him with a project, and I was trying to understand it. But you can't trust that guy. You know that. He was nice to me. Maybe he's more like your Uncle Gabriel than we thought, Xander. Makes sense, I guess. I guess. He treated you well. Yeah. I mean, we're not like best buddies, but I helped him in the lab. One day a test tube broke and I, I cut my finger, and he even took me to the infirmary himself. Look, I'm not defending anything he's done. That's the reason I was trying to learn more. Then you're not evil brainwashed, Alex. Not as far as I know. It's me. Just me. Well, we're happy to have you home, kid. Really happy. Are we good? Yeah, thanks, Xander. Tell him I'll talk to her later. You got it. You know, I never did get to have that ziti. Just so happens I have the ingredients. You ate a lot of that ziti. Making up for lost time, I guess. Uh-huh. You're still looking at me weird. Am I? Look, we're alone. You can ask me anything, Remy. Do we need to sing a song or do some shout-outs? No, sorry. It's just... It was hard having you over there. Not having you to talk to. Worrying that you were... Different. I get it. I'm sorry I freaked you out. How about I prove once and for all that it's me? What's something that only I can do? You mean... I haven't done it in a few years, but yes, I will once again attempt to burp the entire alphabet. I thought you retired from burp challenges. I'm coming out of retirement for a good cause. This is a big moment! Okay, let me just close my eyes, get mentally ready. Hand me that can of seltzer. Whoa! What? What did you just do? I picked up the can after you handed it to me. Only... I didn't hand it to you. It moved on its own! 